so today I'm doing a updated reptile and pet room tour. So I'm going to start off over here and I just want to say I'm doing a reptile feeding video tomorrow. I don't know when it'll be up, but hopefully tomorrow night. But I have like <laughs> almost three hour dance class tomorrow and a lot of things to do. But there is, if I can step back, the hedgehog cage pickle. You can see it's a lot larger because Teddy's been given the whole of the cage they used to split and she's been given her own. So she's got a water ball and a thing. That's from this morning's feed. So I'm going to count how many pets we can see. So that's number one. All right, pickle. Okay, very chuffy. The feeding video will hopefully be a little bit more interesting and you'll get to see her a bit. The back we have some fleece. George's travelling bag there. And in here I have like pipettes, feeding dishes, cricket dishes, um, pot bowls. This is like the snails, private one. And then in here we have like Randy's shed, snake skins. Well, obviously baby snake. Cocoa fibre bricks, coconut sheds, all that. I'll explain about snail care maybe one day in a video. And behind here we have like um, a closet if you will it's got all the dog outfits in i say that but i don't really put them on her anymore we have cricket dust which is calcium dust and then misting spray to do the snail cage you can see how much better care i take of these guys it says snails inside joke with my friend so in here are the three big ones which are china brooklyn is up there these are the biggest ones China, Brooklyn, and Paris. This is China. I'll do a separate video on them. Their cage is pretty big for three snails. I was hoping this would give you a better view, but it doesn't. Maybe the side? No, there's not really much telling of how it looks right now. And then up there, that side's Brooklyn, and I believe so. And that's Paris, yep. And then the bookshelves, and then we have Randy, the almost two-year-old Carolina corn snakes set up. So I really like it this way. And then you can see water dish with the steps, which the steps aren't exactly appropriate. So his favourite places to hide are like behind here, but here he is. Just show you him quickly. See a nice pattern, nice colour. So if I give him a bit of a mist, because I always seem to do that, I like to mist the stairs and things so he knows that there's water leading into there. And then I put tape on. So yeah, that's Randy, the almost two-year-old Carolina corn snake, which has his light on. Obviously his heat mat's on, it's always on, that's where he is. Must be a little bit cold today. And this is like a double fold over blanket that I normally put down to really replicate the night. And then we have the smaller snail tank in here with only three in. And in here is fuchsia, indigo and violet. That stripy one there is violet. Oh God, fuchsia, you'll never find like this. She is tiny, tiny. Like newly hatched one of my babies and then Indigo will be up there somewhere. Indigo is the first one we had. Actually, look, there's fuchsia. That tiny little white blob right there. If I focus the camera. Sometimes I have to use my nose to do it. Oh, God. So annoying. Anyway, I'll do a video about it. She's just about to see her shell make it out there. It doesn't really go well with the background. Then across from here we have obviously the window, it's always there. This is like the tree area, that's like art and craft stuff I don't really like to go into. This is a salad bowl from this morning, some standard mealworms which are pickles and teddies. And we have things like vegetable dispatches I guess, treat mix, and this kind of covers it perfectly. And then we have all the jars of treats like these are like pure meat treats, um, dog ones for the protein days for Teddy, critter cocktail, and then the favourite of them all would probably be mealworms. Then 
We have the giant sofa, we have the blanket down here. It's a pretty big one. This is warmer. Then down here we have the bin, some hay, and then a big thing of Sammy Cat oxygen powder litter. And then we have the drone boxes as usual. Everything across here. So this is Teddy's cage, who is my just gone one year old black Syrian hamster. I've got to say the colourings of Randy is um, bubblegum. But anyway, there is the cage with the wallpaper behind so that's Teddy's, which is pretty big as well. And then scrubbing brush and this pan of brush for spot cleaning and things. And then I like to stick, like, right now the Easter ones are still on because I haven't had another holiday to put them on for yet. This I just keep on anyway, it's really cute, like, with the paws. That's Vix, by the way, because she had a bad chest and she's just had some fluffy stuff. But then there's some Christmas ones and Valentine's Day. And then at the back here I keep, like, files, VIP magazines, like, care pamphlets. Like, that's the one for Randy. And then there's like hamster ones, guinea pig ones, all that stuff. Post-it notes, room spray that I don't use, like it's half gone. That's because I used to use it or I used to use it in my room. And then the calendar is up on here. I can see Pickle's birthday. And there's the printer, the tape. Tape is so handy. I can hear one of the pets being awake. I can't make out which one it is. And then that still isn't filled in. So yeah, that's pretty much everything. I would feed the fit filming video tonight, but there will be mice in it. And that is better off tomorrow because that's when he gets his mouse. So maybe that is a better look at China. I don't know. But anyway, this has been my reptile room tour 2006. 2006. I swear there's something wrong with me. 2016 so yeah for july i think i'm gonna make it a monthly thing so yeah that's that i'm gonna go out and get some more snails now i probably won't do an introductory video because i get a lot all the time these ones are brand new yesterday so yeah bye i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you all soon bye